How you guys doing? It's uh, Maurizio from Cataclysm. I'm here to uh, talk to you about um, the new record, uh, Waiting for the End to Come. It's um, our 11th album, and uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about the, the lyrical concept on it. Um, it's a very personal record for me, especially on the lyrical end. Uh, it's um, a record that uh, deals with uh, some personal issues, but also uh, deals with uh, a lot of things that are going on uh, politically and also um, in the environment and everything that's around us um, that we see happening every day. So it's something that I um, took a while to put together. Um, the uh, first song on this, um, Waiting for the End to Come, is called, it's called Fire. Um, I think the song pretty much says it all. Uh, it's, it's a song about that thing that we all have in, in our hearts, uh, in our soul, that makes us uh, who we are and it gives us that determination to be able to um, make things happen in life, you know what I mean, and fight through things that sometimes are uh, very difficult. Um, I have that fire in me, I've had it for all my life and I, I think that uh, this band has it and uh, we wanted to start this record um, with a very big message and uh, I think that this song uh, embodies what cataclysm is um, and uh, it's it's almost calling uh, for that fire to come out and uh, that's what it is and uh, if you really uh, pay attention to the lyrics I think after you're finished uh, listening to it uh, whatever you have in mind to do you're gonna go start doing it again because it's uh, it's an uplifter Another song that speaks for itself, I think. I think at, at some point in life, I think all of us have, have come to a realization that uh, if we had all the power in our hands to do something, um, I would like look at this world the way it's going and I would just wipe it all out and start over. I think it's it's sometimes uh, uh, it doesn't look very hopeful, you know. And uh, it's not that I want to be a pessimist uh, with this stuff, but I think that. Um, the world could be a better place uh, and we could do much better uh, with it and uh, I just I just it's just uh, a good uh, track to bring to the gym let me put it that way if you a little uh, spoiler if you've listened uh, to that first trailer we released um, that uh, we uncovered the artwork uh, that little sound clip you hear in the end that's uh, that's that song the beginning of it so it's uh, it's a very intense song. Uh, we, we wrote uh, that song with, uh, with a message of, for anybody who's thinking Cataclysm has slowed down or anything, that's not gonna be the case with this record. It's, we're coming for your jugular, you know. Um, a song that uh, embodies uh, really um, something that, you know, if you really care about you know, your environment, uh, you know, the world that you live in, um, there's a line in that song that I say, uh, if you don't care, why should I? Uh, and I think it says a lot. Um, if people don't care to improve stuff, then you know why should we? You know why, why would everybody would anyway? So it's one of those things where I think everybody uh, has to coexist, no matter how difficult sometimes it can be. You know what I mean? That's one of my favorite tracks on the record. You know, people that know me know that I like the very intense, uh, groove-oriented, uh, pounding you in the face type of song. And uh, this song for me is um, is, is that song that, uh, again, something that everybody, I think, at some point has said. When you see something on the news or you're going around and uh, hanging out with some people, it's just, man, these people are just like animals, man. Uh, like, you know, how can they do that to themselves or whatever? And uh, it's got that metamorph about that thing, but it's also about um, the human instinct. We all think that we're special. We all think that we're these super beings and everybody thinks they're invisible, but uh, like invincible. But the reality is uh, we are we are just, you know, humans and humans are not far off from animals. And, you know, they, it's, and you see the, the way we react. Sometimes we're worse than animals. So 
I think the song is, uh, is going to be a pretty strong track, I think, especially on the live front. Um, like Animals should be a hard hitter, uh, for sure. Uh, that's the first song we released um, when we tried uh, when we started promoting the uh, the new album, uh, Kill the Elite. Um, you know, I always go straight to the point. <laughs> I think a long time ago, if uh, you've been following uh, Cataclysm uh, for just for a couple of years, uh, you you probably noticed uh, this song. It's uh, the, like the continuation of it. It's, it's from an album called Shadows and Dust. The album the song was called Illuminati. Um, you know, I back then was you know pretty much uh, reading a lot about uh, the Illuminati and all these uh, different types of uh, people and corporations and stuff that control most of the things that we uh, you know that we do um, have a big problem with uh, you know a certain amount of people controlling millions I think uh, the decision of the world should always be taken by the population it should always be taken by the majority not just uh, some you know random company that's thinking they know what's right for everybody. Uh, I'm not for that. Uh, so this song, uh, Kill the Elite, is a continuation of that because fast forward uh, 10 years later, uh, you know, we're 2003 now, and if you fast forward uh, um, that, that, mar that much, a decade later, we're still dealing with the same things. Actually, I think now it's much worse. Uh, you, if you look at what's going on in Egypt and uh, other places where the uprisings have happened, uh, you realize that, uh, you know, one government goes out, some other government comes in, it's already fixed who's coming in, what's going to happen, and nothing changes, you know. I have a, I have a, a huge problem with that, and uh, I think that the world is waking up. I think the internet, uh, in a way, has changed a lot the way people think. Uh, the communication is fast, and I think uh, messages are getting you know across real quick. So, um, just an awareness song, and, uh, it, and I mean it not only for uh, what's going on politically, but also what's going on um, uh, in the music business. I think in the music business there is certain people that think they can control uh, what everybody wants to hear, what everybody should hear. Uh, it's the same principle. I am a very uh, strong supporter of um, everybody deserves a chance, you know. And, uh, you know, I had to go and break down doors that were closed for me but I continue to do so uh, in many of my businesses and with Cataclysm being one of the voices for it you know so uh, uh, kill the elite <laughs>